Orientation events are how the college makes sure you have the information you need to succeed on your first day of classes. College orientation generally involves getting to know the campus, hearing the college's priorities and expectations for student behavior, meeting with your academic advisor, and being entertained by explanations of and participation in the school's traditions. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is how to make the most out of college orientation. Whether in person or online, college orientation is an essential component of first-year college success. If you have not done so, schedule your orientation as soon as possible. If your school is only using online resources for your orientation, make sure you watch everything they provide, read all documents, review the course schedule, have an online or in-person meeting with your academic advisor, and if at all possible, Schedule a trip to the school before fall so you can walk the campus and begin to grow your comfort level with attending this school. It would also be best to pay attention to the section of this video on the forms you need to complete before you head to school this fall. If your college is hosting in-person orientation programs this summer, make the most of your time on campus. The most important step to take is to read all of the information provided by the school to date. Next, make sure you are familiar with the orientation schedule. By knowing the program, you can think through any documents or materials you need to bring or be familiar with before arriving on campus. For example, if you are to meet with your academic advisor, you need to have reviewed the course offerings for your first term and put together a list of the courses you believe would build a robust schedule for your first term. Do research on class options and schedules, as well as degree-based academic planning. Find the list of required courses for your major through your academic department. Remember that some classes may fill before you can register, so select more courses than the minimum number of hours you would like to carry for the term. Your advisor will help you mix and match these courses into a schedule. You may also have the opportunity to complete a tour of campus, participate in an organization fair, and be addressed by campus leadership about their priorities, campus traditions, and the services available to help students and parents through a variety of challenges. Be prepared to ask questions. Those questions may involve your coursework, housing, meals, books and technology needs, how or where to pay your bills and when payment is due, tutor services offered, on-campus transportation, student organizations or activities, athletic event tickets, the school calendar, disability services, health care, health insurance, the immunization policy, mental health support, financial aid, parent clubs, campus security, use of the Career Center, or any other topic that is important to you. Once you make a list, make sure that you, as the student and your parents, receive a copy of this list. This way, if you are separated into different programs, which the schools do so that they can speak to the individual information necessary for parents and students simultaneously, you can ask your questions. If you both get answers to the same question, you can compare what you were told as the family processes the information gathered that day. Some parts may seem mundane or won't speak to you right now, but stay in the moment and learn what the campus leadership thinks is essential. Interact with those in your sessions, at meals, and anytime you get the opportunity. You may not become best friends, but it will be nice to pass friendly faces on campus as you see each other. Make sure you take time outside the schedule activities to take a walking tour of campus. Walk through the building that houses your academic major. Find quiet places in the library or in academic buildings where you can study. Tour the recreation center, find the health center, and make sure you know where you can park your bike or how to get from your residence hall to the student center. Become comfortable with campus landmarks to make navigation easier as classes begin. There are a few documents that you need to take care of while you are on campus. First is working with the Finance or Bursar's Office to sign and file the waiver from the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act of 1974, or FERPA. This form must be filed with the college. Waiving these privacy rights will allow your parents, guardian, or other trusted adult to help monitor your Bursar account. 
If you are paying for college with a 529 account or family funds, processing payments may require parental involvement. Your parents being able to access your financial records will make this easier. If your parents are not involved in paying for your schooling, they do not need to have regular access to your financial accounts. However, if there is a health or other emergency that precludes you from managing your account, your parents can step in to help. Clarify with your parents when they should access the account and when you will be in charge of this function of college life. You can also provide your trusted adult with a medical or general power of attorney that allows them to make decisions and manage your affairs should you be in a medical emergency. A written statement of when the power can be used can be narrow and specific. The power of attorney stays with your family and does not need to be shared with the college unless there is an emergency. Now will be a good time for us to discuss the role of your parents or trusted adults in your college career. Parents can be supportive. They can ask adversarial questions to help you think through an issue. They can provide care packages or help keep you up on all of the hometown happenings. However, parents cannot contact an instructor or campus administrator on your behalf unless you are medically unable to handle those contacts on your own. Instructors have been known to take points away from students if their parents call the professor to express concern on behalf of their student. Your parents are not to be involved in your education beginning the day you graduate from high school. Use the campus orientation program to begin in your new roles. Your role as a student is to be an adult working for your future, and your parents' role is as your quiet, positive support system. This video will help your parents understand the possibilities held in their new role. Our last piece of advice is a reminder to dress appropriately for the orientation program. It would be best if you were comfortable, yet dressed to make a great first impression. And you must wear comfortable shoes. It is also a great idea to bring a refillable water bottle, bring your phone or tablet or computer. Finally, don't forget your campus ID number or student number if it has been provided to you. Campus orientations are a fantastic way to raise your comfort level and excitement for the school you selected to attend. As you experience orientation, ask questions, take notes, and upon completion of the event, sit down with your parents and talk through all you learned and figure out what more you need to know and plan how you will collect that information. Then spend time reflecting on all you learned and allow yourself to be excited for your first days of classes. There is so much to learn by participating in a campus orientation. Attend, arrive prepared, and be willing to learn all you can. If you found any of this information useful, please hit the like button or perhaps consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below.